Well, Claret's Andrew from Always Claret here, and uh, yeah, Burnley fan reaction. Burnley 5, Cardiff City 0. I mean, yeah, what a result. Um, didn't think it could get, could get much better than Monday, but it has done. Um, yeah, what a what a result and what a what a fantastic start to the to the season and a fantastic home debut for Scott Parker and the boys. Um, yeah, let's get into it then. So the first goal, um, obviously, I think we were a little bit un a little bit fortunate. Sorry, to get that goal, um, obviously, a mistake by by Horvath. Um, but you know, a lot of, we had a lot of luck go against us last season. Um, so I think you know maybe that was making up for it a little bit. Um, but yeah, silly silly mistake from from their goalkeeper, and then. Obviously, we're one nil up, and at that point, I think not that we're coasting, but we our game plans a little bit changed. Their game plans obviously changed because they all they need to go and attack um, a little bit more. And I thought Cardiff looked quite promising actually, to be honest. Um, in the first half, I think we still didn't quite get into our stride. Um, there were moments I said this after the Luton game, and I feel like it was again today um moments where we hadn't quite got going match sharpness wasn't completely there um obviously you know with the i think obviously we knew about order and twine going um but i think with the last minute sale of them a couple of adjustments in the starting 11 and uh, especially obviously with order um so yeah i think i think we lacked a little bit sharpness in the first half especially um, but then, you know, J Rod with an absolute fantastic run, um, just knocking it past the Cardiff defenders. Um, I think a lot was said about him before the season started. A lot was said towards the end of last season about how he's not good enough. You know, he's getting on a bit. Um, we shouldn't have given him another contract. But I think today his performance showed why we've given him that contract and why he was good enough. He's good enough for the championship. Um, so, yeah, I, th I think he did very well. And then, obviously, he pulls the ball back across. A little bit of a tussle in the box and Luca just smashes it home um, with an absolute fantastic goal. I think up to that point, Luca had struggled to get into the game. Um, you know, it... it he was on the ball quite a bit, but he was struggling to get past their defence. Um, and I feel like that goal gave him a little bit of confidence, to be honest, for the rest of the game. Um, but yeah, not saying that I feel like we were lucky to get in at half-time at 2-0. Um, but obviously Cardiff weren't, weren't as poor as the scoreline would make it seem in that first half especially. Um, but then, yeah, I, th I think we were absolutely fantastic second half. Um, there were lots of nice passes put together, um, and I think you know we deserved our our extra goals that we got. Um, I think of Brownhill goal. I think it was just a wonderful team move. Again, J Rod involved in the build up. I think is it Vitinho who who sets Brownhill up. Um, in the end, I'm not sure. I need to see it back, but I think it's Vitinho. Um, absolutely brilliant passing move, brilliant team move, and. Josh Brownell, you know, he's better than Cristiano. Um, but yeah, it it was uh, a good goal from Brownell, and again, he's shown why why he is good enough for this league. Um, and then Amdouni comes on, you know, bit and gets his goal, and I think we saw glimpses of him last year at how good he actually is. Um, but I think today when he came on, he he was. Fantastic, you know. He, he obviously took his goal very well. Probably a little bit fortunate that he did go over the line, um. But I thought he took it very well, and I think he had quite a few nice touches, um, and it got involved quite well. And then Johan, obviously right-footed curler from outside the box. I think that was probably the goal of the game for me, um. Just in terms of you know how good of a goal it was, and how much it probably meant to Goodmanson um and how how it just sealed off the game for us really. Um 
but yeah, we've we've got off to a flying start. We're top of the league. Um, we've scored what is it nine goals in the first first two games now. Clean sheet for Hladaki today, which I thought you know I thought he played well. He made some really good saves, and yeah, I think there's definitely obviously Trafford missing today. Um, Rumours of illness potentially not going to be here next week and we don't know um but i think there's definitely a question of if trafford is <clears throat> excuse me if trafford is still a burnley player come next week he can does he keep his place because for me watching ladaki today compared to trafford on monday i think personally it would be ladaki getting that spot um but yeah it's it's a big week for us obviously in terms of the transfer window this week, um, you know, keeping players. I still don't think we missed Sanderberg. Um, I think the midfield was very open at times today, um, but I don't necessarily feel like we do miss him. Um, I think Cullen and Brownhill have stepped into that midfield absolutely perfectly again this season. Um, we know how well they can do. We saw how well they could do last time we were in the Championship. Um, but yeah, I feel like they stepped into it really well um, once again today. Steve, absolutely fantastic, as always. Um, I thought Dara had a very good game. Perez looks like some player. Um, Cole Yorshaw, like I say, until he got his goal, I think he was struggling to get into the game a little bit. But I think once he got that goal, he did very well. Um, Foster, a little bit anonymous in the first half. I think they were trying to get him to bite um, and he did nibble a couple of times and I think I think something was must have been said at half-time because I genuinely thought in the second half Foster could end up walking. Um, but yeah, the, the lads played well today. Um, can't knock any of them. Man of the match shout, I'm going to say, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to say Cullen. Um, because he's just fantastic every match, isn't he? He's just always calm, composed. I think he put in some really good challenges. Um, I think he dictated play very well, so I'm going to say Cullen. Um, but like I say, Brownhill, Cole Yosho after his goal. Um, J-Rod, Vitinho, you know, I think they all played exceptional. Um, so, yeah, on to next weekend. Tough game against Sunderland. Um can we go and get another three points? Another five goals, please? Come on, Burnley. Up.